Hey everybody, this is Jim Edwards, and welcome to Copywriting for Membership Sites, a unique interview with a very special guest, Mr. Michael Fortin. Welcome to the webinar, Michael. Thank you. All right, I figured I'd give you some cheers again. And uh, we're very excited and fortunate to have Michael with us tonight uh, for a very unique webinar, uh, something that Michael has never talked about before and I have never seen anybody else talk about before, and that is copywriting specifically for membership sites. So tonight we're going to cover uh, physical versus info products, or physical and info products versus membership sites, copywriting for those, copywriting for membership versus a single sale. Uh, multimedia in copy, proof elements in copy, price versus cost, member and subscriber retention, user submitted questions as well because we had a, a bunch of people before the webinar submit questions and then any that we might have missed there we're going to have live Q&A and of course the ubiquitous much much more. And so who are we? Well, I'm your host, Jim Edwards, and those of you live with us and watching this recording should be familiar with the NetReporter.com, and that's actually my membership site where I teach people how I do business on the Internet. And our very special guest, Mr. Michael Fortin, you actually operate the CopyDoctor.com, uh, which I have been in. It is an awesome membership site. The first thing I'd like you to do is just to give us your definition of direct response sales copywriting so everybody understands what you're talking about when we keep saying copywriting over and over and over. Right. When we when we talk about copywriting, we're talking about writing the copy, not owning the rights to the copy. Okay. And that's probably one of the most um, confused element that I, people have made in the past and, and still do today. They think a copyright is like owning the legal uh, rights to a product. It's not. Okay. Writing the copy when we say writing copy copy essentially is your marketing message so when you say I'm writing the copy I'm writing the actual message for my marketing piece it could be a sales letter it could be an infomercial on TV it could be a radio ad spot it could be even a brochure even though a brochure might be uh, not necessarily marketing related it is somewhat marketing related so that's why it's called copy now direct response copy is where you elicit an action you elicit a response from your readers that's what direct response means and and what the word direct means is that we're actually asking for the action in the ad in the marketing message okay so so for example if I tell you that coke is a, is the real thing now that's just a very typical marketing message and I can certainly write the copy for a commercial on coke is the real thing but if I tell you that coke is having some kind of of I don't know contest right now and if you fill out a ballot you might win um, I, I, I don't know a vacation a lifetime Hawaii. supply of coke a lifetime supply of coke and that and and go to this website to fill out this form or call this toll-free number or do something in order to to get into this contest that is direct response copywriting okay now specifically for the internet most most marketing messages are direct response copy okay because we either ask people to buy stuff we either ask people to call subscribe join whatever or the worst case scenario and I, and I wouldn't say it's a worst case but the, the, the bottom line is we ask them to click or at least to keep on reading something it's still eliciting some kind of action right and those are really the only three actions on the web that you can ask somebody to do is to buy fill in a form or to click exactly that's it that's it uh, okay so really, is for the what we're talking about tonight, direct response copywriting is really about getting somebody to sign up to your membership site. Right. 